there. What? That light. Oh, the red. CNN reports that Kamala Harris is in the danger zone. Every time I hear danger zone, I think I know what you're doing. Too, you're thinking about Top Gun. You're thinking about that song. It's just playing in your ear. But while it's playing, hopefully you'll pay attention to the story because it is absolutely hilarious. Look, polls are, I mean, I'm already starting to gloss over a little bit when I see poll numbers because it's this polling person or that polling person or this is they 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 slanted this way they slanted that way you know this is you know whatever the case may be they're all like you know oh this poll is biased that poll is biased so then you look at the gambling markets and it's like oh well that's how it's trending once you realize that that's all noise and the only thing that matters is getting out and voting things get a lot quieter a lot calmer a lot more palatable okay a lot a lot more interesting out there and that's why i'm trying to stay about the work that's why i keep telling you guys get on this email list at tailgatesfortrump.com follow us on x we're working on a cookbook right now that we're going to make available soon i'm going to try to get at least 30 or 40 recipes in that so make a nice high quality pdf um, and also make sure you get your stickers we have deployed nearly 30,000 of these the way the stickers work is simple. I don't make any money on these, okay? I partner with Sticker Mule, who's pro-Trump, to print these. Um, you pick up a 50-pack, a 100-pack. I've got an, an, an anti camla one, a pro-Trump one. You can also mix and match. You put the sticker down. People see the sticker. They scan the code. They go to the website. They get everything they need, talking points to convince other voters, all the resources they need um, to figure out how to register to vote, to check if they're registered to vote, to follow their vote. Their early voting dates. Everything is everything hinges on these stickers getting passed out and 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 put around, handed to waiters, waitresses, bartenders, put in cases of beer. Some people said allegedly they were doing. Don't put them in people's mailboxes. That's against the law. But hand them out, stick them up, put them at places so that pe when people see them, they come to the website and then they can you know read about all these great you know reasons and 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 and. and uh, see the case to vote for Trump. I've got a whole page of resources on how to vote. I've got talking points here so you can go through and you can, you know, take sit down with your friend. You're not a lib friend, all right? They're not voting for Trump, but an undecided or an uninspired voter. Show them this stuff. This stuff is actually printed on some of the stickers. That's why they're so powerful. People are like, "Ah, oh, it's just a stupid sticker." Trust me. If you pick up your stickers and you and you take the time to spread them around, we could literally swing an entire state. That's how powerful this is. And they can come to this site and see all the, you know, all the reasons why they don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. So you can see tailgates for Trump, get your stickers today. Maggie is shipping them out mostly same day. I overnight express shipped the next 20,000, which are almost sold out already. So I'm gonna have to put another order in for another 20,000 tonight. This is crazy. This isn't about buying a stack of stickers. It's about getting out there and putting them up and spreading them around. And if you don't live in a battleground state, you can just change the shipping address and send them to somebody who does. Kamala Harris in danger zone in swing state, says CNN data reporter, national polls don't matter. That part is true. In general, polls don't really matter. I mean, we're going to take a look at some here, but the only thing that matters is voting. All right. And basically once early voting happens, I'm going to be asking my viewers to be sending me pictures of their I voted stickers uh, uh, to confirm in the comments that they voted. I'm going to be so annoying in the two weeks leading up to the election, even more annoying than when I shill coffee. You thought stickers and coffee were bad. Wait till you find out how hard I'm going to go to remind you to go vote. Um, and obviously I can't reward that, but all I can do is continue to remind people um, to, to vote to get their stickers and get other people out to vote. And um, hopefully we can fend off communism for another four years. CNN data reporter Harry Enten sounded the alarm of Vice President Kamala Harris's current poll numbers in key battleground states and said right now she was in the danger zone based on her chances of winning the Electoral College. It's basically generally accepted that um, 
you know, uh, you know, it's generally accepted that, you know, Democrats are going to win the popular vote. Okay. Um, that's gen generally accepted, but that's not how you win the presidency. Donald Trump did not win the popular vote in 2016 and he won the presidency. Okay. CNN data reporter, Harry Ann sounded the alarm. Kamala Harris's current poll numbers is in key battleground states and said right now she was in the quote danger zone based on her chance of winning the electoral college. Let's look at the average margin nationally. Harris is ahead on the average poll by 2.5 points. But look in those key battleground states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. Harris is only ahead 0.3 points. That's what I mean. Dude, if you live in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, or Wisconsin, get 100, get 200 of these things and get your rear end out there. All right? Like 0.3 points. Just with our subscriber base alone, we can motivate enough reluctant voters to win these battleground states. Most national polls and noted show Harris leading President Trump. Harris' chances if she wins a popular vote by two or three points, uh, that chance she wins electoral college is only 53%. So she's up by two point something points, right? So she only has a 53% chance right now of winning the electoral college. The bottom line is, you have to get all the way north to about three to four points for Harris to have a clear, clear, clear chance. The majority, the clear majority chance of winning the Electoral College, if she only wins by less than two, she only has a 23% chance of winning. Right now, Harris right now is in the danger zone where basically about half the time, given the popular vote margin nationally, she would win. Right now, also, you know, by the way, uh, we've got about two months till the election. I'm going to go hard. I'm all, I'm, I'm all in on tailgates for Trump. That's what I'm doing. You can get involved by getting stickers or joining the mailing list or, or doing your own thing, right? Doing, what is it called? Trump force 47, being a poll watcher, uh, you know, w having the stones to wear your mega gear out in public, all this kind of stuff. All mat It all matters. You know how good it makes me to feel when I drive around my neighborhood and like 90% of the houses have Trump signs in them? You know what I mean? Like get a Trump sign put in your lawn. So she goes, so we could be heading towards one of those splits we saw in 2016 and in 2000 where one candidate, Kamala Harris, wins a popular vote but loses the electoral college. Basically at this hour, we're at that sword, sort of weird middle zone where we honestly don't know what's going to happen based upon the popular vote and that's why those national polls that show Kamala Harris ahead at this point don't matter. I mean, look at what, uh, you know, for example, here's a site you can tell people. Trump campaign unveils website Tuesday that tabulates how much voters can expect to pay in taxes if Trump cut, if Trump tax cuts expire next year. I'm going to, I'm going to link to this right away. Look at this. It's like they're taking a. It's like they're taking a, a book, you know, right out of the, I'm going to link to it. Yes. I mean, uh, my, my TG, my tailgates for Trump team, uh, uh, just sent this to me. So right now the Wisconsin average tax tax hike will be $2,100. Okay. You put your state in. So I'm going to have this on the, on tailgates for Trump too, cause that just dropped. But I mean, again, Nate Silver, the number keeps going up now in almost one in four chance. That Harris wins a popular vote but loses the electoral college. That's not that great. 23% chance. I'm not writing home about that. You could say new electoral college map according to Nate Silver's elect election model with no toss up. Prediction yesterday that Trump gets 312 electoral colleges would be an at which would be an absolute landslide, but that has him winning Wisconsin, Arizona, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Again, if you live there, get your stickers, get out there. Register a friend to vote. He even has him winning Michigan. Get out there because he has to win them, right? Like that, I mean, that is, you know, and all these margins are razor thin. New electoral college model, according to Nate Silver, Trump 312, comma two something. This is the path to the Trump White House. Don't overcomplicate it. North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Georgia, or North Carolina, Georgia, Arizona, Wisconsin. If you live in any of those states, get your stickers. Fact is, Trump taking down one blue wall state likely means game over for Harris. 
Nevada is a bonus. Six EVs don't even open up any new victory electoral votes. Sorry, doesn't open up any new victory path not involving Michigan. Michigan, she'd lose Pennsylvania slash Wisconsin first. Furthest left blue wall state until proven otherwise in actual elections. North Carolina and Georgia are must wins. His path dwindles without them. Just as Harris path dwindles without at least two of the blue wall states, let alone all three. That's how close it is. Here's a CEO of 2020's most accurate pollster, Atlas Intel, says that he gives Trump a 70% chance of victory. The recent poll has Trump up three points. Oriented by the, the numbers we have, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe in those numbers. And if I believe in those numbers, and I think about how this plays out, um, you know, swing state by swing state, and that is something that we'll be releasing next week, um, I would give Trump 70% chance of winning mm -hmm. and Kamala 30%. That means that, you know, Kamala still has a chance, but I would... Again, none of this matters. Look at the betting markets, right? These people are supposed to be smart. They're crypto bros, right? They have Kamala Harris up right now by two full percentage points. But 50-48, most people will take those odds. That's still just a coin flip. That means it's coming down to who shows up on election day. Kamala Harris is worried. We saw last night they deployed um, the crypt keeper Hillary Clinton to try and scare Americans. They deployed Jimmy Kimmel to mock Donald Trump for um, having his life put at risk. Links in the description, tailgatesfortrump.com. Sign up. If you're in a battleground state or you know someone, get some stickers out there. Get some people up on stick. You know, if you know someone in a battleground state or you're in a battleground state, or if you think your state's up for the grabs, get those stickers, get them out there, deploy them, talk to people, hand them out, um, do whatever you can. You know, get the anti Kamala ones, the pro Trump ones, get them both, put them out there. Yesterday was our biggest traffic day ever on the website. As you can see, I don't run ads. I don't, I'm not trying to make any money. This is literally just a labor of love because I'm that afraid of Kamala Harris winning the presidency. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.